Hello mates, my name is Risk and welcome back to another episode of the doll shop. So in the last episode we left off a note that this guy might have a little creepy secret which he is actually saving himself for a doll. Now I already speculated in the previous episode that the doll may be the missing child, but I don't know that. So I don't know, otherwise I can't really explain the missing child posters. I, it's just speculations, I don't actually know. Uh, our main hero, which I called him Sato, which I just figured out, there is also a miss in this game called it, uh, called Mrs. Sato, so we'll have to change his name to... I think we'll call him Seb. I think Seb is a pretty appropriate name. So Seb said he's hungry in the previous episode, so let's give him something to eat. Uh, also, by the way, we're missing one poster. You look like you're in a good mood today. I've met someone. The Sato girl? Hey, how do you know that? Are you spying on me or something? How did you know? It's rare to have a newcomer. Everyone is talking about it. Oh. Let's celebrate. The usual? Ah, uh, yes. Excellent choice. Is it also gonna be the chef special again, or... What's going on? There is my goddamn butterfly collection again at the back of the store, looking a bit sinister than usual. Sorry I'm late again. I had work today, a broken doll this time, a real wreck. Yes, it's sad that people don't take care of their dolls. Do you remember Mrs. Sato? Her granddaughter is here. See, she's changed so much that I didn't recognize her. But she kept her tem uh, temperament. You'd like her, I think. I'm glad you're taking it well. I was afraid you'd be jealous. Anyway, there is nothing to fear. She lives over the in town. She'll be gone soon. But I hope she'll stay a little bit longer. I, I'd like to introduce you to her. No, it doesn't work like that. She's gonna think you're crazy because you're talking to an imminent object. Like, how are you gonna try and convince a perfectly sane person this imminent object has feelings? Unless if that imminent object is the missing girl. Uh, speculations? Uh, still speculations. Day number three. Alright, is my doll ready? Is anyone home? Oh, hello. Am I too early? S sorry. It's okay, I've been taking trouble sleeping lately. Oh, me too. I've been having strange dreams. Nightmares? Not really. I've been dreaming of a dark room with red walls. Oh, you mean my creepy... Uh, I, I mean nothing. I, I meant absolutely nothing by that. And that's it, I just stand there in the dark until I wake up. I'm not sure how to interpret it. Dreams often have no meaning, don't trust them. Sometimes dreams act as a warning message, you should pay attention to them. Oh my god. I'm gonna give her a warning. I suppose we all have a dark side. So this is your workshop? I think I've been here before, when your father was running it. It's been a long time then. Look. I began by gluing the face back together. For fortunately, none of the shards were lost. Now I have to erase the cracks. I need to carefully sand the glue. Then I'll print the face until there are no longer any marks. It's a delicate job. Hmm, sounds like a, a true skillful job. But don't worry, she'll be back on her feet in no time. You speak about dolls as if they were alive. <laughs> uh, they are alive, in a way. I guess it's normal to see things that way with your job, but... Dolls cannot replace human beings. <laughs> I, I know that. I definitely know that. Don't show a flashback of me refusing marriage. But I definitely know that. They know how to listen, they don't judge. People are often cruel. I understand. It's been difficult in town as well. My colleagues, my boss. Sometimes I just can't take it anymore. I want to lock myself in a room and never leave. 
I'm glad you came back. You have to sacrifice too much to leave over there. There must be some positive to make up for it. Uh, but you didn't come back for all this time. Uh, I'm gonna be a little... Yeah. I don't know. It's the same for everyone. We just have to live with it. But I must be bothering you with my stories. I'll leave you to your work. I'll see you out. To be honest, uh, I'm not sure if I'll see the doll when it's finished. I may leave tomorrow. So soon, I hope you'd stay longer. I understand there isn't any future in the village. I haven't decided yet. I'll have to think about it. You should take a walk w to the shrine. It's quiet there. I got there sometimes when I need to focus. That's a good idea. I can't stand st staying inside anymore. I'll be leaving. Goodbye. What she meant to say is I'll be leaving alike. So if you want to see more of the game, let's shoot for... See, I told you, she didn't actually go anywhere. She was leaving alike and came back. Maybe, maybe we can meet somewhere tonight. Yes! A farewell dinner? I couldn't bring myself to ask. Don't be so negative, anything's still possible. Our choices are what shape our lives, wouldn't you say? Oh my god! You're so right! I'm sorry. I thought it was the right option, I thought it was the more polite one. Is ramen okay? They serve a good one near the station. That should be perfect, how about 6pm? I'll be there. Work hard. And there she goes. And don't bring your dolls, this is between you and me, okay? Of course, see you tonight. And there she goes. Now, if you want to see more of this game, let's shoot for around 200 likes. If we reach anywhere around that. I'll definitely continue playing this game. This is gonna be a little weird. She's obviously... Uh... You know? She, she, she wants... She wants the Seb. So we're gonna give her the Seb. Seb is the name that I gave the guy, because I couldn't think of any other name, because Sato was already taken by that girl. She's Mrs. Sato. Anyway, yeah, let's look around the workshop. I'll be able to remove the excess dried glue by sanding it down carefully. If I work fast and hard, I can bring her the doll finished to tonight. Didn't you say I shouldn't? I I should not bring the. Well, it's not the doll. It's not the the doll that I'm thinking of. Okay. Uh, let's uh, use the sandpaper here. Uh. I don't, I don't truly like this sound, if I have to be frank with you. There you go, it's uh, it looking pretty good, actually. It went well. I just have to add a final layer of white and... Oh! I'm short of white! I knew I was forgetting something. God damn it! I'll have to check if they have some white in stock at the grocery store. I have to swiftly move! Swiftly! Let's make haste! I'm sorry. Let's, let's let's just go to the grocery stop. Uh, yeah, shop. Uh, the grocery is uh, right there. There is no need to focus on it if you want to go into it. Just go into it. Just go. You don't have to look at it and be like, "Yep, that's the one." I mean, it's the it's a small desolate village. All right, call the owner. What can I do for you? I have a problem. I need white to finish my work. It's urgent. Powder pigment, as usual? Yes, please. Let me check. You're lucky. It's the last one. It's been here for a while. I hope it didn't get wet. It looks perfect. I have something else for you. Oh, it's another piece of the doll. What do you mean? You've been bugging me for weeks, and now you've forgotten? Your parcel arrived this morning. Oh, it's totally slipped my mind. I'm anxious to open it. Are you curious to see what it, it, is it, it is? Not particularly. Do it at home. It's time I close. Really? So early? It's late. But isn't it morning? I feel like I just woke up. Your work must be that urgent if you spend the, the day sleeping. It's 2,000 yen. Here, sorry. Freaking dummy. What? It's really easy evening, but I could have sworn. Oh no, my date! 
I gotta rush. I'm not gonna go finish the, the doll. Actually, I, I, I can do both. My mind is telling me to save the game, so if I suck, I can suck less by going back in time. That's a good idea. Let's go to the... Because if it doesn't work out, I'm gonna bring the doll with me. Oh no, she's not here. Who, the young girl? She waited a while before leaving. She was furious. Ah, it's all my fault. Why do I have to fail at everything? What's my problem? Calm down, I'm only joking. You're my first customer, as always. <laughs> Don't stare at me like that. It was a joke, I'm sorry. I'll wait for my friend. <laughs> what an idiot. I, th I thought we were like going fast in time so fast, dude. Sorry for the delay. I was uh, out walking and lost track of time. Okay, so I think I should try and make the doll and come. Or maybe I should... Nah, I should continue the conversation. Are you okay? You seem upset. Uh, I was worried. Really? You shouldn't worry about that. I would have waited. So what do we celebrate tonight? Uh, your doll been almost ready? I don't know, tell me. How about our reunion after all these years? Good idea. While well, you have. Um, you can choose. You're the regular here after all. Excuse me, two chef specials, please. Can I show you something? What is... What is it? I received it today. Go on, open it. It's... It's... It's a window cleaner! It's not a window cleaner, is it? Oh, a butterfly! Is it dead? Uh, no, it's sleeping. I collect butterflies, you see. You have an avery? No, I pin them into frames so their beauty never fades. Uh, then what's the point of ordering them alive? I don't kill them straight away. I put them in a small cage where they can flutter around. That way I can get to know them and later can recall the moments we spent together. This one will be my most beautiful. Whenever I look at it, it will remind me of you. That's a... Uh, Nice. If it wasn't so creepy. Uh, do you find it strange? Yeah, it's a bit unusual. Don't be offended, but between this and the dolls? You're almost like a character out of a horror film. Oh, I'm not too fan of those movies. They can spice things up for time to time. Okay, I get it. I'll put it away. <laughs> I think I should have probably brought the doll, because this was a lot creepier. Here are your noodles, lovebirds. It looks delicious, thanks. Grandma told me about this summer. You mean the little girl who disappeared? I'd prefer not to talk about it if you don't. I'm trying to understand. I thought that type of thing only happened in town. I thought we'd be safe here. Whether in town or in the country, people are the same. You have to be careful. You shouldn't worry about it. She probably ran away from home. In winter? In in a small town where there is nothing upon nothing upon nothing miles away? It doesn't seem to affect you. Well, I'm the one kid. I, I mean, uh, don't say that. I'll, I, I didn't know the victim. That's no excuse. Sorry to be a pain, but it seems like no no one wants to speak about it. Try to understand. It's not healthy dwelling in the past. The entire village is suffering. You know, we had a similar case in town. A schoolgirl was held prisoner and killed by her classmates. The investigation revealed all the neighbors knew about it. But nobody tried to help her. That's horrible. But here, how could she disappear in such a small village? Someone must know what happened, don't you think? What should I do? If I tell her, if I explain everything, maybe she'll understand. No! Yes, she's not like... Th no! I knew it! He kidnapped the girl and made her a doll! I knew it from the moment I saw his face! 
You can tell it by his baby mustache. Are you okay? I have to tell you something. No! Don't say anything! Let yourself go. Have you heard the news? One week she's been missing. She wasn't even ten. If you ask me, the one who did it is a monster. You see, it's not that complicated. Come with me. The girl baths are empty. I hope they find him and make him pay for what he's done. Don't touch me! I can't take it anymore! Shut up! They will never understand, will they? Even her, she will report me as soon as possible. What's the noise? Can't they leave me alone? Hey, it's my butterfly. In the middle of the winter? Come on in. <laughs> oh wait, no, uh, I guess he's ca I'm coming out for him. What? My butterflies. Follow the butterflies. So, the one who asked me to bring her a doll is the one that convinced me to kidnap her girl? She totally seemed on, uh, like, with me on this. She was like, see, that's not that complicated. What the F do you mean, lady? I'm freaking out. I mean, you can't really see it on my face. But I'm freaking out. Well, I guess it's my time to be pinned to a wall, because now the butterflies want justice. They want to make a human collection. Clearing my head at the smiling Jizo helps calm me down. I close my eyes for a moment. When I open them, I spot something lying between its feet. It's a porcelain shard, a mouth. I hold it to my ear. It whispers, don't be afraid, trust me. For a minute, I feel a lot less lonely. I regain a sense of hope. So I'm gonna tell her? Last day, last day of what? What, what happened with the meeting between me and Mrs. Sato? How did it end? I wake up, a terrible headache. The events of yesterday are blurry. I can hardly make out dream from reality. I hope I didn't do anything irreversible. What? The door is open. Did I forget to close it or did someone enter? Oh, God. No, that's definitely me. If they put the butterfly in the cage, then that's me. Or no, maybe, maybe Mrs. Santo came by here and gave me back my, uh, my butterfly. Nothing unusual, I probably just forgot to lock it. I really need to be more careful. She probably saw the doll, is what I'm getting at. Hello there. I see you've settled in, you're going to be, to like your new home. Time to go back to work, I have everything I need to finish the doll now. Oh, I feel weird about this. I feel truly weird about this. Alright, so are you ready for makeup? Let's hide these cracks. Sure, I'm gonna use the brush and I'm gonna use this. It's not the right color. I knew that. Where's my white? There it is. <laughs> Alright. There you go. Uh, this is gonna take a while, I'm gonna cut it. There you go, that's the last one. And now, the final touch. I know, I know. The cheeks. Oh, you're perfect. It's time to return you to your owner. Oh my god, I feel terrible. 
So I'm not getting... I'm not gonna get it with, uh... This poster is new, and it's the fifth one. What's that? New poster found, five out of five. What is this thing doing here? Someone entered when I was out. They have no right to do that. Always sneaking, taking, talking behind my back. They will never leave me in peace. If it's a joke, it's a bad one. I'd better throw it away. There's something behind it. Another of these doll shards, an eye. It makes me uncomfortable. It sees right through me. It knows. No, everything's fine. It's just a joke. Alright, I'm only missing one eye part, I think. A bad joke. I I'm telling you, the sad Mrs. Sato knows. She just knows. And if I have to be frank with you, I don't think I had a chance with her since the beginning. I don't think we can make anything better. I think that's how the story was supposed to go out. She figures out that I'm the kidnapper because I act weird when they talk about her. And she probably told her grandma too. She's probably gonna refuse the goddamn doll. It depends if she refuses the doll. If she refuses the doll, then we know what happened. Oh, how are ya? Look who I brought back. Let me look at her. It's incredible. She looks brand new. I can't spot any imperfections. You've surpassed yourself once again. Is your granddaughter at home? I wanted to show her the doll. You're too late. She's already gone. Back to town? Of course. She has work. Why? We had a dinner together last night and I wasn't at my best. I was hoping to apologize. Well, you should hurry. She's probably waiting for her train at the station. Oh, thank you. I'll go there now. Wait! How much do I owe you for this doll? Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll work it out later. <laughs> I'm sorry, but destiny calls. Quick, the station. Let's arrive and hope I reach there soon enough. Alright, then you shouldn't be walking. I mean, you're like, let's hurry, and you're walking. Y you don't look like you're in a hurry. So you're leaving after all? You scared me! I'm sorry. It's nothing. I've been thinking about it a lot, you know? But this place isn't for me. Do you really think it'll be better in town? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, the village needs new people. Think of your grandmother. I've made my decision. Please respect it. You should take some time to think about it. Uh, yes. You know, the more you insist, the more it opens my eyes. There's something weird about this place. It seems so nice in my childhood. I've been holding onto those memories to help cope with my work. I was thinking I could always come back if uh, not things got too bad in town. Now I don't know anymore. I think I'll be better off in town after all. And she becomes one of them. I have to go. I'm sorry, I have nothing against you, but... It's not a good idea to stay here, you should leave as well. This is my home! I know. Farewell. There is no way this game has multiple endings, right? I don't think so. So who entered my... She would have ended up running away anyway. She talks? I know. Don't be sad. You have me, and I will never leave your side. No, this is mu this must be in my head. This must be in my head. I there is no way that thing talks to me. She she's supposed to be dead if I made her a doll. She can't breathe. She can't move her mouth. 
The moment I pinned the blue butterfly, I feel like I've stabbed myself in the heart. I think of the train running to the city. I think of the snow that slowly but surely covers everything. I become submerged in silence. Hunched over in the sharp darkness, I can only wait. One day, maybe she'll come back. No, she won't. You have unlocked- THERE IS DIFFERENT ENDINGS! You have unlocked ending A. You won your friend's co uh, confidence? No. Your secret is known by you alone? Yes. You saved your childhood friend? So I did save her from something. So you saved your child from, uh, childhood friend? Yes. You completed your butterfly collection? Yes. Validate these four options to unlock additional content. You found all the posters? Yes. You completed the ending A? Yes. Dude! I really want to do ending B. I want to do all the endings, dude. This was cool. The game graphic were hand-painted with pencils and watercolors by students during a three-day workshop at the ECV Bordeaux. Yes, that place in, in France. What you say to your childhood friend will influence the trust she has in you. Will she leave the village as soon as possible or will she stay a little bit more at her own risk? Starting at day 3 is enough to influence her decision. Starting on the final day will return you to the final choice. So, I want to tell her the secret this time. I want to tell her so... Uh, she, she would trust me and stay in the village. She might understand, who knows? You shouldn't worry about it, she probably just ran away from home. It doesn't seem to affect you. Uh, don't say that, I like the child a lot. How much? Sorry to be a pain, but it seems like no one wants to speak about it. Try to understand. Uh, the entire village is suffering. Oh, she must be around somewhere. I believe her job isn't going too well. I offered that she stay here, but you know sh how she is. As stubborn as a mule. You seem disappointed. No, it's okay. Goodbye. I'll tell you... Uh, I'll tell her you came by. Thank you. So she's around town. Probably reporting me. Oh, I forgot to pay him. Bah, he'll be back. We'll have to figure out where she's hiding now. So she start decided to stay. Once outside, I found myself in the mood for a walk. Maybe I'll cross paths with her if I head to the shrine. I don't see her anywhere. There's nobody here, as I expected. Before leaving, I noticed an object half buried in the snow. Hey, it's another eye. What's that doing here? Once again, I feel watched. I turn around. I'm alone. I'd better go home. I'm at it home. What now? I'm sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have insisted. No, it's nothing. Have have you made your decision? It's not that easy. I was happy to see you again. Without you, I'd probably already be back in town but I don't think I'm going to stay uh, I tried at least it's not your fault we had a good time together it's just that I have a f this feeling I, I left something unfinished in town I understand it's okay you're so withdrawn you need to learn to say what's on your mind Forget it, I'm leaving. Wait! Before you leave, I'd like to show you something. I haven't introduced you to my favorite doll. Ah, oh, fuck! I can't save! I can't save, god damn it. I haven't introduced you to my favorite doll. You already don't understand anything. It's not surprising you live alone in this old house. It will only take a moment. Excuse me, I'd better go. Do you want to discover my secret? There you go, I know what. Secrets are for kids, don't you want to grow up? Well, okay, but quickly, and then I have to go. There you go, let me- let me fucking open Pantora box, will ya? There you go. I'm gonna- I'm going to die. 
I have the feeling I've been here before. I've uh, been so eager to introduce you to her. I, I don't like this place. You'll see how beautiful she is. You're going to like her, I'm sure. Look who's here. Say hello to my friend. Oh no! It's the missing girl! Don't be afraid. It's not what you think. Don't come closer! Wait, listen to me! Why are you running away? There's nobody waiting for you outside. Aren't you tired of being alone all the time? Imagine, together we could be a family! I won't tell anyone. Please, just not believe! I got it. Switch of the light. Yo, man! Everything clicks now! Forgive me, I didn't intend to hurt you, but don't worry, I'm going to fix it. That emptiness cannot be left alone, I must heal you. Yo, what the hell, dude? Come here. Isn't it better this way? I know you love this butterfly. Now it's time to close it. What the hell, dude? I am freaking out! Jesus! You're perfect. I murdered her! I murdered him! I'm a murderer! I'm so happy you're here. I'm sorry I had to take such drastic steps, but what else could I do? You understand, don't you? Now, the three of us are a family. You know what? I think we're going to be very happy together. Yo, man! This is screwed up! This is so screwed up! I left the room and closed the door behind me. People are going to be suspicious now. They will ask questions. I'll help as much as possible. We'll organize a search party in the forest. And I'll hang a poster in my shop. But they won't ever find you. Wow, dude! You want your friend's confidence. Yes, your secret is known by you alone. Yes, you saved your childhood friend. No, you completed your butterfly collection. No. Oh no, it's the missing girl! Don't be afraid, it's not what you think. Don't come any closer! Well, listen to me! Why are you running away? There is nobody waiting for you outside. Aren't you tired of being alone all the time? Imagine, together we could be a family! I won't tell anyone, please, just stop me leave. I got it. Let her leave. I wish she had stayed. It's... It's not your fault. It's her, she wasn't ready. I wonder if she's going to warn everyone. Yup, yup she is. Maybe it's better this way, in the end. Yep. Yep, definitely better. This is a strange world we live in, don't you think? So beautiful and yet so frightening at the same time. How did I end up this way? I sit at my desk and contemplate the butterflies flutters in my room. For now, everything is calm. Soon, I'll hear noises outside. Shadows will gather at the window. Someone will open the door. And it will be the end. Oh my gosh! Okay, I wonder if I unlock some additional content. I did! Later. 
Grandma, are you home? S sweetheart, is that you? Why are you in the dark? Yes, Grandma, it's me. Oh, I was so worried. You disappeared so suddenly without leaving a trace. We assumed the worst. I'm sorry, I should have let you know. To be honest, she missed you dearly. But I can understand that she's very fond of you. You? What are you doing here? I came to make an offer. Why did you come live with us? What the fuck, dude? What the hell was that? There's no way the grandma believed... Because uh, if I killed her... Then she wouldn't be able to talk, therefore she couldn't be able to fool the grandma. Because it doesn't matter if you can't see in the darkness. The, the voices, you can recognize it's different people. There's no way. This game is fucked up. This game is fucked up. Demonetize this video. Take the ads. I don't, I don't want them. I don't want them in this video. Take them away. Okay? This game is fucked up. End of story. If you enjoyed this video or if you enjoy my content in general and you want to support my content, then you can do so through my Patreon page. There is a card info on the top right corner of the screen. Click on it and it will take you to my Patreon page. Over there you can support me. And even if you support with $1, it would be really helpful. Man, this game was insane. I loved the ending. It was so good. Really talented people working, uh, worked in this game. Uh, the graphics, uh, an actual story, and all around, just a very fun game. I liked it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next time. Bye bye